in the early 90s, Batman was on a roll. It seemed like everything Batman was just automatically awesome. The original movie, awesome. The animated series, awesome. Michelle Pfeiffer, holy crap you guys, I mean, get real. You know, there were even awesome video games, like the original Batman game for the NES, and this Batman game for the Game Boy. It's Batman, the animated series, like the game. So this game was released in 1993, after doing that classic original Batman for the NES, uh, as well as the solid follow-up, Return of the Joker, Sunsoft lost the Batman license. Now it was in the hands of Konami, a developer with a bit of experience developing beat-em-ups and action platformers. In addition to doing a game based on Batman Returns, they also did this, a Game Boy exclusive based on the fantastic animated series. So the game picks up with the Joker doing typically Joker things. He's planning to release a bunch of teddy bears filled with laughing gas all over Gotham City. Of course, he's also a villain, which means it's not going to happen. Playing as the Dark Knight, platform your way through surprisingly complex levels while beating up surprisingly difficult enemies before taking on surprisingly infuriating bosses. Then again, these were the old school days, so actually none of that is surprising. I guess that's the main story with this game. It is really difficult. I mean, even by retro standards, it's a total pain in the ass. I struggled mightily with this freaking thing. And most people I've talked to have said the same thing. Cheap enemies that take away most of your health. Enemies with guns who can't be disarmed. Seriously, if you value the safety and integrity of your Game Boy, Batman the Animated Series is kind of a dangerous game to play. I'm just saying, it's an easy thing to throw across the room. <laughs> But fortunately, as challenging as it is, the game also plays well. It's actually very similar to the Ninja Turtles games for the Game Boy, which makes sense considering that they're both from Konami. This is just a solid little action platform, and its level designs put a real emphasis on both constant wall jumps and pulling yourself across the ceiling, which actually is pulled from the Turtles games. In fact, if there's one weakness in terms of the gameplay, it's the combat. Throwing the same punches over and over, it's kind of boring. And sadly, the Batarang is actually kind of useless. But where this game really shines is its presentation. I mean, from the moment you see its gorgeous intro, you can tell this is going to be a pretty game. And it is. Batman the Animated Series is a technically beautiful game, especially considering the old hardware. And stylistically, it does a fantastic job capturing the look of the animated series. That dark tone and that distinct Gotham aesthetic, it's all here or at least as here as it can be on the Game Boy. The music's solid and the graphics are even better. Another cool touch is that there are levels where you get to play as Robin, so even though the combat is one-dimensional and the gameplay gets a little repetitive, having two characters to play as helps keep things interesting, especially considering that Robin is the weaker character. Since he has less health, his levels are even more of a challenge. You know, it's, it's not a very long game, and the difficulty will make it even shorter for most of us, and it's far from the most exciting game, but all the same, this is still a solid action platformer. And especially for Batman fans, that slick polish and presentation certainly make up for the game's faults. And for the... for all the broken Game Boys. Just be very careful playing this game. It's Batman, the animated series for the original Game Boy. And a huge danke to our friend Uli from Germany for sending it in.